The Nightingale There was once a nightingale who lived in a large crystal cage. She belonged to a rich Persian merchant who loved more than anything else to listen to her sweet song. If he sometimes detected a sad note, he quickly dismissed it from his thoughts. My nightingale has everything a bird could possibly want, he told himself. I'm sure she's the happiest bird in Persia. One day, the merchant announced that he was going on a long journey to buy silks and perfumes from the east. On the way, he would pass the nightingale's first home, a forest whose floor was carpeted with flowers. Was there anything the nightingale wished him to say to her brothers and sisters? Just tell them I'm well, she said, and ask if they have a message for me. The merchant did as she requested, and on returning from his journey, he immediately went to see her. I asked one of your brothers if he had a message for you, he said in a puzzled voice, but all he did was to fall to the ground and lie completely still among the flowers. I picked him up, but he still didn't move, so I decided he must be dead. I gently put him down and was just turning to leave when he fluttered his wings and flew high up into a tree. I called to him again and again to say something, but he ignored all my pleas. I think your brothers and sisters must have forgotten you. The nightingale bowed her head in grief. All day long she refused to eat or drink any of the tasty morsels which were brought to her. And when the merchant came to see her the next morning, he found her lying at the bottom of the cage. Not a feather moved as he begged her to fly to her perch and sing. Then he opened the cage, carefully picked her up, and gently stroked her neck. But still she did not move. Stricken with grief, he thought she must have died. So, with tears in his eyes, he took her outside and laid her on the grass. And as he walked back to his house, he turned to look at her one last time. And then he saw her brown wings quiver in the sunlight, and her beak open in a cry of joy and happiness. The nightingale soared into the sky. Thank you for the message from my brother, she called. It was the best message I've ever received. And away she flew to the forest whose floor was carpeted with flowers.